Going on, man. Welcome back, Black Street Boy Show, episode numero ochenta y ocho eighty eight. Y'all, man, as usual, we're brand keep making arrangements by the Tricky Jones and Baller, whatever you want to call me. Man to my left, it's your boy Marsh Man and Menace and Girl Mouth Like a Nest. Y'all know how we rocking. You got your man D Johnson, DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. Y'all know what it is. Man, you already know who it is. The CEO, the Prez, Rob the God, Rob Philosophies, whatever you want to call me, baby. Let's get it, man. It's Patreon, Patreon, Discord. Discord. going up every single week. Shout out to everyone in the Discord. Slide in there. We're going to get more active in there, you know, do some more game, interact with y'all. Mm-hmm. You know, sure, so we sure. need to get on that. You know what I'm saying? But also, that Patreon. We live right now on Patreon. Shout, shout out to the people that slide every single week into the Patreon to see the live recording of the podcast. You get extra three hour plus long podcasts that ain't never going to be anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Extra segments every single week. And yeah, man, for real. Three dollars. Spare change. Everybody shout out to everyone that's in there. Who going to be next? Man, DJ, just, just go ahead and kick us off, man. Just, just kick us off. Yeah, so I was, you know, you know, looking around and you know how we got the little stigma right now of all the things that's pause and Everything mm. is a sexual innuendo and yes. all that. Mm. So you part of that? I am. Um, that's okay. But it's not. what's it called? So my question to y'all is: When y'all get older and maybe have kids, are there any foods that you won't allow them to eat? Oh, I have a no. quick answer in, for this in one. public. Or? Ain't no Franks. I'm sorry. We're not, we're, <laughs> See, we're, if you're gonna no. eat Franks, I'm, we have I'm to lucky see with them. I'm lucky with them. I'm lucky with them. We're not eating Franks. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Because I'm going to be looking at them sideways. Why? Franks, corn dogs, all that. Well, for one, for one, I don't like hot dogs. Okay, yes. And I don't like corn. I despise corn dogs. That is just just abomination to foods everywhere. No, it's not. That shit is disgusting. Nothing wrong with no damn corn dog. That's just a cornbread wrapped around a hot dog. Yo ass eating a weenie on a stick. And the motherfucking weenie tastes like the stick. That shit no, it does not. That yes, shit it does. does. That shit disgusting. Yes, it see, they tastes like damn it's wood. Like, Tam- right, they like right. damn. See y'all some damn beavers gnawing on that goddamn weenie. Ain't nobody chewing like on the goddamn God, wood, bro. Shit. Nigga, it's just on the stick. Either way, question question is, if so, are there any foods you not gonna let your son eat? For, got- for what? Because it's gonna be homosexual if he eats a certain food. It's gonna look a little funny. <laughs> no. Little funny. No gushers. We're not eating anything that busts in our mouth. We're not. I'm not buying. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually concur with that. Not not for that reason. What? I nah. don't eat some gushers. Yeah. We're not eating gushers. No, nah, I don't funny. need no damn we're gushers, man. That's too much. But you gonna let him eat a long ass Ridiculous. Frank though? Pick them up. We're not getting the jumbo joints. We getting regular sauce. <laughs> oh, why? Why? Because <laughs> that's too much meat. No, no. I eat this. <laughs> I eat this. So no, you I feel like you get the big old fat Franks. You just greedy. You greedy. Just get a regular sized Frank. <laughs> Where was that? You don't need that much sausage. I heard somebody, I think it was you don't like need that much. either in the UK, there's some place that has like long ass yeah, hot dogs. Yeah, yeah, like they yeah. don't even like, fit. They yeah. do them here in the Coney, or the Coney dog, I think, <laughs> is the one that's like a foot long or some yeah. shit. Yeah. I, I just can't that's eat That's just greedy. That's I can't, I can't, that's yeah. greedy. I can't eat A 26 yeah. inch yeah. Frank is insane. <laughs> no, we can the regular size, what's, what's the usual size of like a Frank? Six inches? Six inches? I, I don't know. Six inches, you can still reach the cervix. So you don't need no more than that, man. Jesus. You don't need no more than that. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. like hot dogs, so put some chili on top of that dog. Uh, good, real good. Wow. Good. Yeah. I miss some days, man. I used to be able to eat a chili dog in peace. Oh man, those are good days, man. Oh, no, those chili are dogs, glorious ain't days. You, forgot, you look, I forgot what button it is, man. <laughs> what? That uh, you forgot? You you look, I forgot, man. Oh, it's fitting. You can go ahead and hit if you want to, but it's fast. It's too though. late now. It's too late ain't now. Ain't nothing wrong. You know, eat, eat, eat that banana. Eat all that. Get your potassium. Oh, yeah. He that. ain't eat no banana either. Because that's okay, eight that's, what, what? That's yeah, eight okay. That's what? That's I knew he was going to say that. I'm get no bananas. We got to cut them up, though. That no, you don't. I ain't doing it for the sexual You can window. cut them up, but like, you can also just peel it and eat it. <laughs> Black <laughs> ass like motherfucker. An eight. <laughs> 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 he got you there. Sure. The most sure. Ace know how to eat them. I don't like bananas, and I do agree that it is for ape food. So it's not ape food. It's, it's not ape food. So what do apes eat? They eat more than bananas, my what, man. What's, that's the, what's the main, main thing they eat though? That's the main thing they associate. I don't think that's like the main thing that's they eat is bananas. That's not even their main diet. That's like a fucking. That's, that's just what they're associated with because of like whatever the hell shows. Like well, that, well, they stereotyping the hell out of them damn apes. Yes, they are. The first thing yeah, you see, along with your black ass as well. Yes. What? I don't eat bananas. Well, you still the stereotype though. <laughs> if some stereotypical racist person who goes up and sees you, what they go assume? He must love bananas, watermelon, and chicken, etc. Oh, You're wow. a chicken person. Oh, chicken, definitely. Mo- Basketball this, person. All this chicken in February suffer. is crazy. But For sure. Anyway. Yeah, it only gets worse. But, uh, I mean, you know, I ain't No brat worse? Hell no. Oh, no brats? Oh, they're crazy. 
You said Bratwurst good. That's what I'm talking about. No smoked sausage. I'm sorry when I eat. Why that. not? Why not? I'm not eating that. What if it's a beef sausage? I need like swine, but like what if it's a beef one? I'm not eating it. Come on. I don't even eat the shit, so I ain't gonna make exactly. my son eat it. So when y'all get pizza, y'all can't have sausage pizza. I mean, I don't like sausage. Pizza. I don't eat it, but if them niggas eat it, see, I'm a little wildin'. These wildin', you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. It's so how's it look a little, it look a little strange. How's it cap that I don't niggas like sausage? I, don't like I didn't say it was cap, but like eat, niggas just want to be different. I said it was cap. Nigga, you like sausage oh, okay. pizza? I don't eat that. Sausage but. pizza is delicious. That's just it not it. And it's a hardier like bite. It's, it's pepperoni's wonderful. Don't get twisted. But sausage is just—it's just a hard. It's just a hardier bite. It's not to say like no like sweat. What the fuck is? What are you talking about? Like sweat, nigga. That's just weird, bro. Weird. You be drinking sweat, huh? Well, nigga, I taste. I work out, so I would man, know. Man, go ahead and eat that swine, chicken. man. That swine yeah, divine. I have nothing against swine. That's why open your mind. I have nothing against no. swine. Mighty I just fine. don't like sausage. No, I'll eat bacon. Bacon, I. Right. Why are you just picking choose, nigga? But the soul motherfucker can't like nothing. He just you gotta like everything, huh? You just gotta like everything your black ass like, huh? Yes. No. No. <laughs> no. That's exactly. No. The case, actually. That's that's bullshit. That's what that is. Open your minds, man. Okay. Yeah, Good. You know the reason why I don't accept you. You know, in your your blackness right here, you know, it's because you know it's not just because you black. It's because you just you black and you also just annoying as hell. Why can I eat a banana? <laughs> Why can I not eat a banana in peace? I eat a banana for this motherfucker. Oh, eight food. Oh, oh, you throwing that motherfucker. Oh, I ain't never said nothing like that. For my, oh, yeah, you for me, you. you thinking it? For me, it's always <laughs> right. For me, it's always the eight food thing. That's funnier than the uh, the deep throwing because only say because it's funnier. But you be thinking the same thing. Not really. Yeah. Now not you really. think that for hot dogs? Not really. Not really. So yeah. partially. Oh my God. Okay, if you want to be technical, like, right? Okay, yeah, it's air. Hey. It's always hair. Right, come back his head. Come well, on, it's clearly in his head too. Goddamn, because he, he, he knows. He knows how he's <laughs> right. right. I've been exactly. ridiculed for exactly. eating. I've been ridiculed for getting my potassium. Like, where's the world that we just created? Kiwi nigga, nigga, stop! I don't want no fucking kiwi nigga. I want a banana. I don't need no fucking like damn. Eight. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he choosing the banana over the kiwi because you wanna. Yeah, no, that kiwi Who is gas. Is just out there kiwi just is buying really kiwis gas. over bananas for real. Yeah, I ain't buying no kiwis. Though. I am, but kiwis is gas. Though. I'm not. Kiwis the, are the, fire. Strawberry kiwi beverages, yeah. they good. Yeah. <laughs> no, I no, want. If fruit. it was readily available and prepared, hey, I'm taking a like kiwi that. every time. But as you should. But bananas are definitely more convenient on everything. Eat that damn banana, bro. Hating that. And that's good. They're good on pancakes. You ever had bananas uh-huh. with pancakes? Hmm? You ever had bananas with some pancakes? I've had them. That I don't really like fruit on my pancakes. Me neither. Sounds I think putrid. It's, yeah. yeah, no. Nah, not, not a fan. Putrid. I've had it before where you cook them, you put it inside the batter, and then, oh, okay, y'all not even. Oh, no. Yeah, you're that's a it. fat fuck. Yeah. Uh, okay, like, <laughs> putting fruit in it. <laughs> so shut your black ass, shut your black ass up, bro. I'm, I'm sick of y'all niggas, bro. You know, we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we can go ahead and move on. I actually wanted to talk about this album of the year, man. Cause I I seen I seen it come up on the Grammys. You know I don't watch that shit because that shit's ass every year anyway. Facts. But um, I actually just seen who Facts. won the Facts. album of the year. You know it was Killer Mike, man. I'm like, oh shit, Killer Mike. I ain't heard from this nigga in like ten years. You know. Um, but then I started seeing all these like hip hop accounts posted. Who is this guy? Okay, I've never seen yeah. this guy before. I I'm think that's like, I think that's a little disrespectful. I think it's disingenuous. I just, I'm just so taken aback. <clears throat> How can you call yourself like this hip hop influencer and you have no idea who Killer Mike mm-hmm. is? Niggas working with fucking Outkast, nigga, run the fucking jewels and shit run like that. Run the jewels, my friend. Like, my come on, bro. Run the jewels was legendary and all the intros on those albums are fucking Cold. amazing, phenomenal. Now, Killer Mike, it's no creme de la creme album, in my opinion, but I do think it deserved to win album of the year over those other three that got nominated. Like her what were the other and um, Utopia, uh, Metro Heroes Boom, and her villains. loss. Oh my yeah. god! Okay, yeah, Heroes versus Villains. Now, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I would have honestly, I would have took Heroes and Villains, and, and, or you feel me? I would have had them too because all the other albums were anti me. Mm. I like the Metro Boom album. Yeah, you liked it, but what was the substance? There's not a lot of substance in Heroes versus Villains at all. It's really just great production. Same thing with Utopia. There's not a lot of substance in there, but he created a world. I think he took a step away from like the Asher world thing, and he really started to create this immersive place for people with Utopia, which is why I really enjoy that album. But there's not a lot to take away from it, and he's not like a very good lyricist per se. So what he's rapping about is typically subpar. Great, great uh, breakdown. Yeah. I don't know if I say it's subpar. I mean, it's like it's on the level of like any you know, other rappers that we enjoy. You know, I say I think I think Travis Scott's actually an underrated rapper. Um, in terms of what? I mean, I, I think his cadence is very good. I think his flow is very good. And yeah. like 
in like even like a song like My Eyes or whatever it was, I think he was mm-hmm. legitimately he was he be saying some stuff. It ain't just and you go back to Rodeo too. He's rapping mm-hmm. probably like rap, probably he probably, probably rapped the most on. I think he technically rapped the most on this album yeah. of all his albums. But like a Rodeo too, I like his, his rapping a lot. Would too. you agree that he's incredibly inconsistent though? Because no. there's multiple there's multiple songs on Utopia where there are some bars which just like nigga you sound like a fifth grader. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. I can't put the bars out right now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know but greater. to me, it's more than just like you rap. It's a rap album. So it's mm-hmm. it's music. It's more so. It's more than just. I know it's, some people might be like, oh, no, 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 no. But it's more. Rapping is. Making rap music is more than just, you know, rapping itself. Yeah, definitely. For um, sure. That's not, he, I think it could. I think. I think. I'm not mad at Killer Mike winning that at all. Mm-hmm. I saw what I'm saying. I'm not really that surprised. It kind of makes sense. Grammys have done like something like this before. Mm hmm. Um, where they go with the more conscious or whatever people that they or more hardcore seeming hip hop album, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. They've also gone in the opposite <clears throat> direction where they pick like a Cardi B record, but you know. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But I think Utopia could have won too. I think I would take. I would say it's just. I mean, I can't say too much. I actually didn't listen to that album. Probably the reason why I'm not hating on Killer Mike because I didn't listen to the album. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that type of dude be hating on that album and I ain't yeah, heard it. Like. Yeah. Like people are hating, like motherfucker, you ain't heard the album. Niggas ain't even listened to it. It's actually, it's really good. He I has heard a, some of it. He has a couple like very generic. Like I think he tried to get a couple commercial songs on there. Like that song he has with Young Thug. Run, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, I that, saw, that, I saw that. On the it's playlist. very like boom bappy type beat, same beat, repetitive. But he has a lot of songs where he kind of goes in depth, like motherless, where he's talking about losing his mom and his grandma right. and really finding the love in those people and how you shouldn't waste the yeah. time that you have with them, you know? Like, mm-hmm. he goes really deep in that album. I actually really enjoyed it, especially seeing a solo album from him. No, I mean, I've always appreciated Killer Mike, especially when you go to the side of him uh, outside of music because mm-hmm. he, he, he's a really good spokesperson oh, yeah, for Atlanta and just, and just activist. our community in general. Yeah, for sure. And uh, so when I hear him talk about things, like on the opening track, I think one of the main things that people pull and say, oh, this one over Utopia, I can't believe it. And they played like part of the track. It was part of the intro. And uh, that's a free promo for that man because those <laughs> bars were pretty hard in yeah, my opinion. Bars. Uh, for sure. I like bars. what he talks about, for real. Yeah, man. definitely. Man, he brought Andre 3000 back, man. Andre 3000 oh, and Future was on the same track. I heard that track before the album came out. I think that was a single. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, I mean, shit, I, I'm, I'm going to try to listen to it this 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 week, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, sure. I've been meaning to. I've just been putting it off. But, like, yeah, people that's just hating on it, it's just like, it's going to show where they taste at, you definitely, know? Definitely, man. The closed mind when it comes to the music, it is man. what it is, man. He, just, he had ghetto gospel on there, man. He had ghetto gospel on there. You gotta listen to it. That's your art. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out, man. But uh, yeah, we can move on a little Moving bit. Speaking of, yeah. Now, y'all know it's February, Black History Month. We all love Black History Month, I but don't. I have <laughs> issues with Black History Month. I think we need a fucking whole revision on this shit. <laughs> okay. We need to revise. Right. We need to revise the whole thing. Okay. What you mean? Okay. So when everybody gets their little heritage month, right? Right. They get what? Parades. They do big old cookouts for the community. They they you know they get a lot of sales on t-shirts. You know what they culture all the flat. Okay. It's too goddamn cold in February to do anything. <laughs> we can't go out and do shit like that. That needs to be fixed. I think we need to have this on a different month where it's a little bit warmer. June. Yeah, I guess June. I don't know yeah. about that because that's when negativity is very high. It's in the yeah. summer. Yeah. Well, I think I you just you said that it was too you, cold. I I think, <laughs> what the fuck? We going to do that? I, June is too, that's too far into, into yeah. the summer. I ain't going to nah, lie. I, I agree with him. That, that's what nah, But like nah. you contradicting yourself a little bit. I see a smooth March, May, sometime in there. It's a little warm, a little warm about that time. Nah, not March, man. Because depending on the year, March is as cold as February. Back I guess you're right. I April. guess. But we in Illinois, though. You yeah. fucked. It had to be late April, though. Yeah, it got to be Even shit. then. Even then, yeah. that's gambling. Yeah, you know, June, June, still coming June out July night. is too far in the summer. Nicotivity is at its highest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it. Well, June, Juneteenth, goddammit, you know. Yeah, I figured that would make sense. It really. would. It would, I guess. Reg- regardless, maybe, maybe. regardless, we need to be able to have, okay. uh, 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 you know, Parades. We should be able to be out with our culture, with our people, celebrating, being black. That would be cool, though. That would be great. I would love to see that. I think they're probably doing it somewhere, you think? Hell no. No, nah, I think they are. Hell no. There's no, no way your black ass is the only motherfucker that thought of that. Right. What, parades? No, I'm, saying, I'm not the only yeah. one that thought of it. But I doubt niggas are doing it. They definitely do parades and shit and like sell t-shirts down south and shit for Black History Month. Right, but that's like, where most of the blacks is at. But most people just... Don't care about black. So why don't we do it then? Yeah. We huh? need to. Why I think don't we do it? The city of Chicago should. Who? As many black people that live Ooh. there. Who's who's we? 
one, two, three, four. Oh, oh hell no. I mean, I don't, like, wanna... I don't even like Black History Month, let alone black really people. Like it. You know, <laughs> Jesus Lord. See, Christ. Jesus Christ, Rob. God damn it, Rob. No, no, no. no. God damn it, Rob. No. 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 Oh, man, the no, music's got to see that. The music's got to see that. Jesus. I think we could do it, though. Mm-hmm. No, no, we no, 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 It's not bars. It's not bars. Like, when we get real big, we could throw like a... Like a little parade. Ma, no, um, no, man. Not it's doing too much. <laughs> Why not? Because see, see, niggas, that, niggas going ruin it every that's, time. That's the part, and that's the part of my. That's part of my my thing, man. Niggas generally don't care because niggas that reason there. Niggas don't trust niggas. That we is terrible. Scared. We are scared. We are scared. Don't bro. trust niggas. That you is always terrible. got the niggas in. Oh, Black History it. Month. That is terrible. We, we need to actually nice... treat this like a real thing. Mm-hmm. Hispanics when they have they you know Mexican uh, uh, Independence Mexican, Day they, they go, go crazy. Hard. We don't ride they, for the Juneteenth like that. Oh, you feel really me? Don't. Come on now. That is a problem though. That is a that huge is a issue to me. But y'all concern is definitely valid. I'm trying to say because I already know if I ask my parents go out there. They gonna say the first thing gonna say who gonna be out there? Mm-hmm. And gonna be, I'm like, my, it's obvious who gonna be out there. It's Black History Month. Oh, then I ain't going. I'm just like, damn. But I don't know how we, how we, how would you do it? And how do you and, weed and out people, the and people the don't die? Yeah, right. How do you weed out or the niggas? Shot. You can't. You really can't. It's a celebration. Niggas gonna be well, drinking. Man, well, 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 well. I feel like you there could. There is. We could do it in like the suburban areas. No, you can't. No, no, you can't. Right. I feel like you can. can. So what you gonna do? Go to the city? No. They motherfuckers travel. And about the point is, I don't know. If, I don't think it matters. It doesn't. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. If especially if you're doing it in June, you got to hear me out real quick. Oh, right, they look, outside. Look, look, they willing look, to travel. Look, look, look. Outside, outside. Hey. niggas don't care. They gonna make the drive regardless. Uh-huh. It's gonna be hot outside. It's a celebration. Niggas gonna be drinking, and you know, broke niggas not trying to buy no food, so they're gonna be out there hungry. Now they hot, hungry, and drunk. It's too many. We, I, too many I think, combinations. I don't think we can serve alcohol. Nah, not You too. get them niggas off that Hennessy Black? Well, you need a permit to do stuff like that anyway. Well, the motherfuckers gonna have all type of vendors and shit anyways. That would be up to us. Yeah, that would be up it. to us. If we threw it, that would be up to well, us. Well, what you mean? Me. You act like niggas don't bring flasks everywhere they go. That too. Yeah, yeah that's true. But okay, I think yeah, but we, we like, get to like, for the, we for the area that we in, like, we have to do like a, like a park or some shit, like a Grant Park or some shit. I don't know. Well, niggas still dying. Don't matter. Well, yeah, but I'm saying, yeah. but like you gotta like, Secure like Oh you can't bring No alcohol in this Motherfucker People want yeah. People want Sneak their fireballs In but like You know You, bring, you got the chance. whole Thing in Hennessy yeah, Get your chance. black ass On up out of here <laughs> Yep This can't be The end of this Conversation Cause I actually Like now that, that We've uh, located All the problems I kinda wanna work Through it and figure it out That's why I've been Thinking about this All night I got high I was smoking Right And, and Shout out my girl She <laughs> asked She she asked She was like So I'm black history Why don't you guys Like do stuff like that. And I'm like, that's a fucking good question. That's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking good question. Well, the, que- the, re- the answer is niggas. Niggas. Right. Niggas. Mm-hmm. Damn. Niggas roughly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, <laughs> I see the Mexican motherfuckers. They put the shit on their car. Yeah. They, go, they should go to Chicago. Tear that motherfucker up. Mm. Mm. We need a black American flag. I don't know if we got it. Not we that do. fist. We do. We do have a black flag. We do. Fist, man. Yeah, the we Black do. Panthers yeah. had a flag. We do. No, no. Man. There's an African American flag. There is. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's we like start utilizing red, that. It has like a little gold sword on yeah. it. Oh, we start utilizing that. Yeah, it, it, it's actually using a lot. Like that damn fist all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's at yeah. all the HBCUs. Yeah. Like, oh my god. I'm just tired of the motherfucking. I'm sorry, black folks, but I'm I'm just like the whole whole police. They fucking us up on the top. Like, can we just have something just straight yeah, up positive? Like like mm. You got like the Mexican flag. They got their Mexican flag. They got their country. Obviously, we not gonna just tote like some random ass country in Africa yeah. and shit like that. But like something that's just like, <laughs> oh, so it's don't black know folks. Mm-hmm. That's right, right. And times. like, like the fizz, yeah, like you protest. We gotta be protesting all the goddamn time. We can, right. can we just be having fun? Right, right, right. right. Yeah, we gotta protest yeah. all the time. That's what yeah. we need. I think as a as a community, we need that at least one time. If we, if not, we are gonna keep doing it. You know, one good time. Yeah, just for Man. everybody to remember. I agree. I think we should try to. Work. I think we try to do it, man. I think we should do background checks on everyone in that tents. I'm sorry. You know, um, the money that's gonna cost is dead. Yeah, it is dead. I feel like we could we could do it though. Get some investors. All you gotta do oh, is you know make a and RBC. security. Just have look them up in the database. It, security, yeah, and we can't do it like we can't do it no like open area like how Kai that did. We can't do that because that's, oh, that's just that's in the middle of the street. Too. Yeah, though. that was yeah, that, that was, was ridiculous. Yeah. That was a terrible place to be doing that. Yeah, that's just that's just inviting jigabooism. Yeah. If we like get in an enclosed yep. area, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we could pull it off. Uh, but baby, I don't know. Uh, we we, we shot see. We are gonna think about it for y'all. And um, man, we gotta do better. You can bring your white friends too. Of course. of course, of course. I mean, it's not yeah, gonna be man. completely cut Connor. off. You know? That's real because like a Mexican Independence yeah. Day, it's not just men. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come. you know what I'm saying. I can slide too. Yeah, we gonna man. try to you know niggas just stay home. 
<laughs> or if you're like, playing on grabbing on Casamigos and Hennessy, just stay home. Yeah, just stay home. Yeah, God so damn. man, watch from the TV. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Let's let's move on, Rob. I know you got something else you want to talk man, about. Yeah, I, I seen uh I seen Mallory Bros uh talking about something with uh Daya and this Houston Rocket. You know, Daya, uh, I forget her last name, but she like 39. She dating some like 21 year old, or oh, yeah. 18 year old basketball player. Yeah, yeah. And I was just thinking like. That would be a W in my eyes. Like if I bagged, if I bagged her, cause she bad. If I bagged her and she was older than me, I would be mm -hmm. thinking about it like a dub. And I'm trying to think about it like, what if my son walked in my house and said, "This is my girl," and it was some forty year old woman my age. How would y'all feel about that? I'm a, I'm a, and this goes for men <clears throat> and women. Um, when an age gap like that, if you're 18 years, mm -hmm. 15 years, 10 plus years older. Yeah, there's too much room for um, what's the word I'm looking for to take advantage of that person. I feel like because mm -hmm. it's just the the experience in years. Like you know, you clearly know more than the 20 year old. You're 40, 45, 50 years old pushing. So there's a I feel like there's too much to be taken advantage of right there. I don't know. I, I wouldn't trust it. Yeah. So okay. So what is y'all act of art? What is y'all act? What are y'all gonna do? I'm not doing shit. He's a grown ass man. Yeah. Thank you. That's why yeah. I ain't doing Hell shit. Yeah, yeah. You can't do nothing about that. But you can say something though. Yeah, like what? I can get my opinion. She okay. too goddamn old for you. Yeah. Definitely. And she probably so, with you for a very specific reason. Yeah. Okay, so with probably not saying, a wholesome one. So with you saying all of that, what do you think your son is gonna do? Passing okay. the pops. What? Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> um, he wanna know. If I'm single, like I said, I'm divorced from my wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yeah, the purpose. laughs> okay. You don't need all that, boy. Look, for me. <laughs> you don't need all to do with all that. Well, you don't need all to do with all that. You don't need all that, boy. Come on now. You don't even know. That's that old school right there. Man, for me, yeah, I ain't saying a that. damn thing. Cause oh, no. I'm going to say something. For me, it's just like, I'm a you know, I'm a firm believer. People going to do what the hell they want to do anyway. Very true. So if I tell you all the reasons why you shouldn't be doing this, that probably might, that might not be enough for you to stop doing it. Cause you, that person, I don't plan on raising a dummy. Now you mm -hmm. could still come out a dumbass, you of know. No, but like he may have already considered this himself and just doesn't give a damn. Very true facts. Cause I thought think of myself like if I was in that predicament, like exactly. I said, if I had some forty year old chick came up to me, she loving mm -hmm. all on me, you know. But mm -hmm. am I bringing her home though? No, no, Hell no. That's that's the thing. So like I'm going to say something to it. But hold on. Okay, I'm like I'm not, I ain't saying right you things. can't knock him down because I like I said 65 the new 45, mm -hmm. so I'm like okay. you could put your numbers up a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Taste okay. indulge in some history real quick. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't know? Yeah, because back then he could be like what? I'm like hey, what you know? This motherfucking coochie was around in COVID. That COVID coochie. You wow. don't know nothing about that. That, that sounds thing. crazy. <laughs> that, <laughs> that sounds <laughs> bad. What? It really does. It really does. That really COVID does. coochie, like uh, uh, yeah. It uh, persevered uh, through it, though. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got to bleep that for you, too. too. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. We're good. Okay. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> well, you no. can definitely stop that. <laughs> Come on. No, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, I see what y'all are saying. Like, because, yeah. of course, you know, that's your son. So you want to yeah. guide him the right way. Exactly. But for me, it's like, at that age. How, he's 18? Uh, he's 18 or 21. It was an 18-year age gap. 39, so 21, yeah. So, you know, you we've all been oh, 18, and we yeah, are yeah, all... Yeah, she's 39. We have all been What's 21. Right. Mm -hmm. What's your mind stay at when Bitch you're 18 and 21? Right yeah, that dick is taking, so... Trying to all bust some fucks, you saying that That thing. and... 21, I was definitely trying to get oh, yeah, the milk. Definitely. And, and on top of that, you kind of you kind of think you're, like, immortal almost. Maybe not to the extent of, like, us. I see what you mean. But, like, like, like hiatus, you ain't like trying that. to hear that shit. Like, nigga, I'm doing my thing. Like, don't Type worry about shit. what I got going on. Like, yeah, yeah. bringing them home is crazy. You gotta be a crazy she, motherfucker hold to bring on, that though. old ass yeah, home. Hold on, though. What, what, is she doing, what is she doing all the right things, though, man? She's doing you gotta, all the right you gotta, things? You gotta, well, I don't know. I'm That's, saying, what if she is, though? You don't know. Shit, this nigga's a multi-millionaire playing fucking basketball. I don't know how much money that nigga make. But well, he making okay. a lot of money. If it's getting that specific, I guess I'm thinking more so at my own personal level. Mm-hmm. You know, just like regular folks type shit. Okay, so regular folks, regular folks, right? You twenty one. Let's say you moved out. You got your own crib and shit. Your girl start coming over. She cooking for you. She making sure your house clean. She washing your drawers and shit. She checking up on you, making sure everything's taken care of for you. It sounded right? better. You start, you start falling in love with shorty ass. You like, damn, gotta bring this thirty nine year old bitch to the parents. Well, she man. might go through menopause. Shit, the bitch probably went to school with me. God damn it, I would not, nah, 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 nah. All right, my what? son got a chance. Like you want to have some kids? Yeah, like, you want to have some kids? Like, 
that them times motherfucker is but about like gone. come on bro we all we saying shit that the person has probably has already right. thought about but it's that's so 39 year old 40 year olds that that's be still pregnant yeah. Yeah. But, but you know yeah. you risk of having them he extra got a, on he got, yeah that's what i'm saying he, he has five right. years you know a five year gap mm, until yeah. menopause kick in so like for sure now he didn't there doing <laughs> hot flashes <laughs> wife got hot flashes. you don't think he can thought of that I don't. You not if not the wank are thinking. Uh, get the fuck out of here. Not if the wank are thinking. I wouldn't have thought about it. How? How, how, I know you how could you not? No, uh, she I probably going to go through menopause and be having hot flashes. I'm just thinking in a moment. Like, damn, I got me a bad right. little 39-year-old. Oh, she got your crib at ass butt. You be for real. Like, you be at your crib at ass butt. You're 21. Your girl got your crib at ass butt. You're caressing my scalp. I'm not saying that's going to cross your mind at all times. I'm just saying there's going to be a point where you're like, damn, this motherfucker is way older than me. And what happens when you get older? You can't have kids. And you're a woman, you're gonna start going through those changes. Mm -hmm. Me as a cognitive 21 year old, I would have definitely thought that. Now, like Rob said, in the I moment, just, in the yeah, moment, I right. definitely would have been right. down for it. At the same, but at the same time, when you actually start going through that process of dating and shit oh, like that, that's gonna cross your mind. All of that's very true, but you gotta understand everything that I just prefaced before. If she's been doing everything right and you really start feeling her, and you start having deep connection mm -hmm. with this woman, you might be able to overlook shit like that. Okay. Yeah. You know, the pros and cons list will save everybody shit, but on that con list, you gotta look. Yeah. She can't have no kids, goddammit. Or if she can, like you said, the extra chromosomes. At a, at a point in time, you didn't want no kids. That was that was a different me. This mother. Yeah, was, that shit. was you though. It like, was. So what you what you suggested not do? So what I'm saying is, what if you hadn't gone through the growth where you was like, man, you know what? Maybe I do actually want kids. And you were uh, at that stage where like, you know, yeah, what? I don't really want kids. And you just saying. like, all right, fuck it. She forty year old anyway. That's valid. That's valid. Okay, that's valid. Young man mindset. That's what I'm saying. But I'm just thinking about it. Like, it's very predatory. It. it yeah. Is, yeah. But like, if you, if do you, you like it though? Well, it's different because like it's tough, man. Because I feel like this is more so this damn near could tear into a Patreon topic, mm. but uh, it's uh, if roles reverse, it's not the same thing. No, not, not at all. At all, not at all. They, they thank you. Because like I said, the young man, we know how we we thought of when we was in middle school and all that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Them oh. teachers, we was, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. we was, we was for like, one time, yeah. oh one time. If I could like, we be oh, seeing uh, them shit on Twitter. Oh, like local teacher sleeps with students. I'm it like, should have been me, I'm not like, him. Him. <laughs> me. I'm like, what the fuck was that? That's <laughs> how I be. That's how I be. Like, where were they at? Where were they at? And when I was oh, in school, bro. they was there. They were looking for your ugly ass. <laughs> and they be in school like, oh hi, yo. That's what I was thinking. Uh, uh, Oregon. What the board ass? They don't shit happen there. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I'm, I always look at the things. here. Raise your hand. Touch me here. Touch me here. What is he doing? When I first used to see them prompts or like them them news, the, those news about uh about like teachers mess with the students, I'd be like, damn, where the fuck were they at when I was in school? Facts. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like, damn, they weren't looking for my ugly ass. Facts. Oh, no, man, Facts. Facts. They're fucked up. Facts. Yeah. I, mean, I, gotta, I be yeah. looking at pictures of my shit. I'm like, damn, nigga. I got a yeah. oh, bogus. Story that goes bogus. That's like story that goes with this. So, in my mom's neighborhood, bro, me and my homie, you, my homie Nick, shout out to my homie Nick, we used to kick it, right? Mm -hmm. And across the street, this new lady had just moved in, her and her husband. Her husband was a cop. She was a nurse, okay? So I guess his mom tried to be neighborly, go meet them, okay? Finds out now that the, the wife got arrested. She's on the list for messing with a 14-year-old boy. No. She was a school nurse, Sex okay? Damn. Now... This is the kicker part. If y'all ever met Nick or seen Nick, he looks pretty young. Nick looks yeah. like he yeah, can yeah, be yeah. 17, 18, right. but he's 24. Okay. Yeah. This lady was always high every morning to him, never to his family. Damn. Not his sister, not his mom, not his stepdad. Only him. I used to tell Nick all the time, that woman think you young, boy. You better stay away from her. I used to tell him all the time. Stay away. Stay away. Stay Crush away. that. Right, for real. Run towards that. No, cause how he gonna feel when she? <laughs> uh, and how he gonna feel when she say, "Oh, I thought you were younger." What that mean? Uh, I still got mine. What that mean? Hey, you thought wrong, motherfucker. It's, it's tough because like, yeah, you're and, right. And we're taking, you're speaking from a certain perspective. Because is it right? No, not at all. No. It ain't right, but it's it's a tough predicament. Hell yeah. yeah. Cause you know it's that, the fantasy, man. Yeah, and like it's oh. easy to say it's easy to say certain things when you're not in a situation. But hey, they, my mom always told me since I was a young child, you got two heads, motherfucker. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got two heads. It's true. It's, 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 these are known things. It's very true, and it's just stuff. Cause like, if I'm a grown man, I see this grown woman. She's talking to my son. I'm like, hey, motherfucker, what's wrong with you? Mm. You know, the whole time, what's wrong with you, son? 
I understand. But, but <laughs> he, he wasn't, what the hell? He wasn't like, under the age, though. It's 21, 39. I ain't going to lie. No, you look goofy yeah. as hell. I mean, if you're right just here. dropping it off, I mean. Man, that little, it's old. Oh, I know she look like, she probably look like his mama. She oh, probably no. do. Oh, no. She's so bad. Oh, okay. I guess Regardless. that's different. I guess it's different. But I, I, th I think, like in most case it. scenarios, well, I'm thinking it. in most case scenarios though. <laughs> oh, okay. them non-famous oh, 39 okay, year olds. Okay, 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 the okay. motherfuckers look 39. Yeah, definitely for sure. But I thought yeah. you said 65 is the new 45. Well, I mean, well, I didn't even commit know. to the 65. All right, you know. <laughs> 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 but who said anything about commitment? And he, 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 he dated. Right, he with her. her. Yeah. That's in that scenario. We talking about his. Oh, he just say, "Oh, I knocked down this old chick." I'm like. Time travel, son. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Yeah, you sure. just did some time travel. Right. Right. Commitment. Yo, yo, bro. Nah, no, no, we talking about, we talking about commitment, though. Day. We talking about nah, the gas the station, goddammit. Come and go. Look at some I'll just say, you know. Straight restaurant, in and out. <laughs> gas and I mean, wash. Man. Come on, man. Wash. It's tough. It's easy to say. It is tough, like, We say it for the mindsets of some bachelors. Yeah, it's easy to say when we're on the other side. We don't got no kids. Very true. So we really have the people to ask. Hell no. We're more so the mindset of like, you know, we're like, you know, the, the, I guess like the younger, the younger kid, and the, the, the kid in that situation. <laughs> yeah. Trying to like give y'all a little step into that mindset, cause like it is messed up. It's not right at all. But like, yeah. for example, if there lucky, was teachers in the high school that I was like in middle school as well. Oh, I was oh, like, yeah. like if given the chance, Lord have mercy, I wouldn't tell nobody. I wouldn't tell nobody. Tell soul. <laughs> I wouldn't tell nobody tell until soul, after I graduate. Wouldn't I wouldn't tell nobody. Oh, I man. promise I wouldn't. And then fast forward ten years later. I'm looking at him. I'm like, I feel the same way. <laughs> so what does that tell me? Facts. What does that say? What is that indicative of? Nigga, I was correct. <laughs> I I was correct. And that's like, and I know that's touchy, man. I'm sorry. Like, listen, keep them fucking grown ass women away from your kids, please. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For please. Because so. your son that. will indulge. So keep them grown ass women away. And I was in Miss Gruka classroom. She was oh, Miss Gruka. And she loved black. She loved black folks too. She loved black boyfriend. Y'all crazy for name dropping. Sorry, man. We grown now, Miss Gruka. Hey, you know. Yeah, she had that dude that was poetry. He did poetry. I can't say shit like that, currently. No, 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 no. Yeah, man. We could we could move on some. Okay. Long line, yeah. This is a good one. Speaking of uh, children, okay, so I came across a video on TikTok where the conversation premise is, does the child support money belong to the child or the household? Because I see many arguments say that child support <laughs> is actually re is technically reimbursement mm. for taking care, you know, caring for that child. Mm. Mm. Okay, we got the video, man. Yeah, can we pull? Can we pull the video, man? It's interesting. That's an interesting topic. Look to my child support, I get from her father. How would you handle this? I also think her father is putting things in her head. Either way, the money he sends is for me to care for her, and she doesn't grasp paying bill or paying my bills, which also benefits her siblings, is part of this. And this is the text that the daughter uh, wrote to her mom. My dad told me how much he pays you in child support. And he showed me. I just don't understand how my dad pays nineteen hundred in child support. When I ask for something, you say no. Also, you use the money my dad sends to take care of me to spend on Aaron and Jess, who I uh, assume are her other siblings, um, and likely they don't share the same dad. That's just my assumption. Mm -hmm. um, right. Sorry, what was it? Okay. When I ask for something, it's always a problem, and you threaten to take my phone away when I do anything you don't like. If it wasn't for me being here and my dad paying you, uh, wait, if it wasn't for me being here, together, she missing some words, and my dad paying, you couldn't afford to keep the house. I do love you, but I feel like you take advantage of having me here. i rather live with my dad, and mm. I just want you to know for it to happen um, without making a big issue. I don't think it's right. I don't benefit from my dad's child support, yet you spend it. Well, I don't know. I can't really say there got to be something more to the story. It just sounds like a spoiled child. Because... Oh, she's spoiled. I, that sounds spoiled to me because I don't think that it is the child's place to get the money directly. 
Well, I don't think she's. Mm. I don't think, man, every motherfucker say anything. Motherfucker say anything, yeah. bro. That, that didn't make any. That didn't make any damn sense. This is the type of people like they see us. Our black ass with podcasts. They assume we talking like, like that. that. That's mm. ridiculous. Uh, I um, think child support should be changed, though. You think so? I In think the structure should be changed. So we know that the person who gets child support is the person who has a child, correct? Mm. So I, I don't, because I don't know how you would implement this, but it does get a little funny. I've seen a lot of these, you know, different scenarios like that one where the mother is taking the money and using it elsewhere rather than the child. See, well, I don't know about that situation. Based off what I heard, it, she said that it was being used to pay for the house that they live in mm-hmm. and pay the bills, which does benefit the child that the money of the father mm-hmm. is coming from. Yeah. But you got to think about it like, well, they need a place to stay. Right. Yeah. If she doesn't spend the money on the bills, then she can't stay there. She just said without that check. She can't afford to live in that house. So now what? The kid's homeless if she doesn't do that. Right. Now she's not being taken care of and she has the money to do so. Yeah. And I feel that. But at the same time, I don't think that's what child support is for, though. It's not. Like, I well, understand what's it, what's why they're using it wait, for that. What's it for? So you may, wait, you have a problem with them using it for the bills? No. But I don't think that's what child support is usually for. What's it for, then? Yeah, it was Strictly for the child. I no. believe it's... That's what I. I that's what I've recognized when, it as. When, when I see, when I have, when I talk to people bill. that have that pay child support, the money usually goes straight to the kid to help them feed them, help them clothe them, and well, send them to the school. It's, 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 mainly, it's mainly home. But, for insurance and things like that. And keep in I mind, tell. usually the mother or whoever it doesn't have to be mom and dad. It could literally be whoever is housing the child. Mm-hmm. They're usually working on top of that. Yes. So their money is usually. Paying for the house or that stuff that she said that they were spending the money on. Do do I think it's wrong to use that money for that? No. Right. But I do think the child has a point if she's not getting what she needs. If she is getting what she needs. She asked for a new phone and didn't get it. That's what it said in the that's what it said in the video, right? No, she no, said she, she was, takes her phone. Oh, she takes when okay, she okay, asked okay. for things. See, I don't know. Yeah, now, there's not enough. Now, there, there's not, not enough, enough information. information yeah. It sounds like, oh, I sure. wanna, I wanna make an Xbox, upset. yeah, or something or, like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying like, and it's just like, it does well, sound greedy. It does well, sound greedy. I had to use a lot of your money to help me pay the bills for the house because it sounds like that woman's a single mother with two other kids, right? And my question to you, well, I guess you guys can't answer because it's them. But are those two kids the baby daddy's kids that's sending the money? No, clearly not. No, okay, that's what I thought. I so, think, well, but, but, if she's using that money that's supposed to be used on that child, yeah. and using is, that or, kids, is that wrong? Is that wrong? Using on the other kids? Is that wrong or right? And using on the and using on the other kids. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're asking? Oh yeah, no, that ain't right. My Thank opinion. you. Yeah. I agree. And, I think that's wrong. In what way though? Because that ain't like, what he you paying mean like, for. He you mean like for you his mean kid. like buying clothes and shit like that, or you mean like food in the house? No, my like, brother it sounds buying like clothes and it sounds like she's spending money frivolously on all of the money that she's getting on all of them. But that's the problem. With so the she's getting co- cheated out of her. The child's getting cheated. It sounds like I because can, let's say if if, ahead, if the dude was paying child support for all three, it probably wouldn't be nineteen hundred or fifteen hundred. Right. It'd probably be way more than that. I can. Which I, I can, can think fifteen hundred. I can offer a solution to to eliminate this whole situation. <clears throat> Real talk. Uh oh. I call it the flea deal. Now listen. What? When oh, when you conceive said child. You have six months Whoa. to get in contact or get into, you know, personal contact with the father. Now, if he can manage to hide away for six months, <laughs> no child support. This is but if shit. you manage to catch him, wherever he may be, Bora Bora, Puerto Rico, who knows? <laughs> if you catch that nigga, he will pay some some money. That's bars. <laughs> That's bars. Some hit the, hit the button. Now, some wrong with you now niggas, niggas, Duality. niggas yeah. gonna think I'm stupid for this. Now, yes, listen they, they closely. Well. <laughs> some yes, of you is, women don't want that nigga in your life anyway. You just want the money from him. Now, if you don't want him that bad, you wouldn't look. Unless it was for what? That money. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, I mean... Am I wrong? He's he's there. I mean, but I mean, there's some underlying. Things. Good. Goddamn. I mean, you know, it's like some it's, solid logic. You know, 
few plot holes. <laughs> it's, it's solid logic. No, nope. it never it's stopped me logic. from watching the show, though. Oh, oh good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> you said a few plot holes. Well, stop me from watching the show. It's okay. solid logic. Solid All right. Logic. They gonna say it's unfair. Okay, it's unfair. So, okay. What do you guys suggest we do? Uh, I mean... The fleet deal could co- solve a couple things. Okay. It would also create new problems. Yes, definitely. And I, like I said, I want to preface this. I, I don't think Samad is saying that he would flee himself. Oh, no. No. Un- unless I was needing a reason to flee, then I would well, okay, What would like a reason for you to flee? Yeah, I think you could guess. What, she on crack? You got to save the child at that point. Well, you probably save some un- Well, ask me kind of fucked up if you was crack, with the crackhead... Anyway. Exactly right, but maybe she got on crack like after she got pregnant, like you know. See, but that would just nah. be stupid yeah, because, like, obscure. why would you get on crack after obscene. Krishan Rock over there drinking and smoking? See, while she's yeah, pregnant. but she's that, not a that good reason is person. why <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> flee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like, come on, bro, Krishan Rock is you extreme. Hey, hey, you know, there's a lot of pros yeah. to adding up. All right, there's a lot of there's a lot of green lights to adding up. Cons as well. Oh, um, oh man! You know the courts have to agree to this deal too, so I can't just run off the second you know you concede the motherfucker. We gotta go to court first. Court gotta say okay, fleet deal starts as soon as you leave this building. That's crazy. Wait, I'm out of there. Glorify hide and seek. I feel like you just you need to build it up a little bit more. Like you need to introduce. Oh the, yeah, you need oh, to go yeah. down, sit down, introduce the bill. You know. Oh, of course. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know. <laughs> It's gonna be a chapter. I think it's only because because the main reason we brought this up is because of what the whole abortion thing. That was, oh, that yeah, was, that, that that was the original why. fleet deal. Saying if like because because if, if you mm. had because like you said you have it's your body your choice you can you know oh yeah Dave, Dave Chappelle shit yeah mm-hmm. Dave Chappelle that should go towards that too. right you should have the right to abandon the motherfucker mm. and then don't don't abandon your child though don't. man don't that's that's worst don't case do scenario that. that's worst case scenario don't do that if he thinks gonna show who's who's jackass mm. I do think it is a common problem though of yeah. people who receive child support using it for the wrong shit. And then the child gets neglected. Yeah, I don't and know. And if the child can notice, it that, gotta yeah. be it gotta it's be it, some something gotta be. Ah, man, I don't know. We just don't have enough information because I yeah, always think about it. I always of... think about it like a healthy, a healthy environment in the house. If if the other two children's fathers are either, you know, doing the illegal flea deal, mm-hmm. or aren't making enough money to where they can provide nineteen hundred like that. Then there's gonna be a disparity in the household, right. and she's gonna be the one receiving everything, and it's gonna end up being negative in the house with her siblings, quote unquote. But that's it, it, it. Just I just I think it would create a bad environment for the child. So I feel like I don't disagree with that. I don't know, man. But at some point, it's like, what did I do wrong? And see, but as you a child, didn't, you didn't do anything oh, wrong. I think that's just the mind of of adolescence, like. I just think I think that's just immaturity. As you a child, under, yeah, you just don't you don't understand the predicament. Okay, so you saying my thing so you're is, saying the child should be just completely fine with her money being used on anything and everything. That's not what I said. I'm asking. That's I didn't say you said that. I'm asking. Is that I mean, you know, that's not what I was. <laughs> that's what I, that's <laughs> no shit. You're trying, to, you're trying to put me in a frame. Yeah, I Thank am. You. I am. See, I'm trying to fuck is, you. Yeah, that's pause. Bigotry. What? Yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> I said pause, but please die. Okay. Damn, that was crazy. <laughs> that was so crazy. Um, but no, I don't. I don't think that. There, I just think there are certain necessities. I think there are certain necessities that need to happen. You know, like right. like Brandon was saying, shit. We need heat. We need heat in the crib. If yeah, there's I no feel heat, that. Like shit, shit's fucked up right now. If I can't get the new iPhone 15 because my dad's in 1900 and 800 ever got used for bills, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, so like it's just like. That does sound yeah, spoiled. We at don't that have. Point. It, we can't even answer this for real, then, because mm. there's not enough info. That's what I was thinking. Like, it's really not enough it's too info vague. to really kind of go off of with mm. that. But I mean, I see their. Cool I see their combo, ploy though. though. They wanted mm. a. They wanted a broad. It's a cool scenario. Yeah, it's a cool what if yeah. combo. To twist it, it into is. their own. Fair. Yeah, I don't man. know, man. That's a real problem. In yeah, the world. there's just a lot that goes on with that. You know, you know. Because I've heard so many different sad stories with child support, baby fathers, at especially at work. People send money, they don't even see their kid and stuff like that. Yeah, that shit is disheartening. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's why I ain't need to bring shotgun saying. marriages back. Huh? Oh, what, shotgun marriages? You don't know what that is? I what do. Is yeah, shotgun marriage. You know, I heard the term before. You knock, I don't a, know what it you knock a girl up, you guys should go get married. Oh. That makes sense. I think that's valid. No. I think that's valid. <laughs> 
I gotta, think, like, you gotta at least I try. Think, Maybe think, not married. We gotta at least try like to have a family. <laughs> 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 yeah, marriage probably uh, fucking yourself even more. But uh, I don't know. I feel like you should if you do yeah, have a child with that person. You should. Decision. Yeah, you should. Right. You already don't came this I far, guess. whether you did it meant to or not. Okay, it's like see yeah. it. now yeah. you have another reason to lock in. I just think a lot of I think a lot of moral values have kind of been thrown out the window. This whole hell like, yeah. Treat yourself. Like, no, yeah. you two made a decision to bring a life into the world. Facts. Now you have to deal with the consequences of Whether that. Whether you and meant you to, to or not. I think you need to come together and cultivate your child. Okay. Okay. Yep. I agree with that. 100%. 100%. Okay. But if you are in a bad predicament, I do think the flea deal should be an option. <laughs> Oh, that would be it. so funny. You would find so you many niggas in the same spot. Oh God, bro, that's what I'm thinking. You why you why you move out here? Shit, I'm trying to go on that flea deal. I feel like this should be a catch though. I feel like you sh maybe shouldn't be able to leave the country. Oh yeah, for but sure. that's just too easy. That's too easy. Like she yeah, can't you probably afford to take fly your ass to Canada or some shit. Right. right. So you that's know. facts. That is bars. But still though, you're not gonna find me. Shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can definitely go off the grid. Change your name. Change your head. Oregon. Okay. Remember, you gotta find a way to do what he said last week. But naked in the woods. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, you definitely always do that. But naked in the woods. Anybody gonna come look for you? I'm He's so... not fit to be a father anyway. Nah, your ass I come back to society. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's not like some South Park evil shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's fucked up, man. Oh, God. Folks got a kid. But naked, pick up right. crack while you at it. Get butt naked, get in the woods, six months. live yeah. as a hermit for yeah, eighteen years. Real. Now Come you know back. they, now they know, now yeah. you know they not bring you around this child. Yeah, anyway, bro, bro. <laughs> okay, that's evil. All right, y'all. Uh, speaking of evil and wickedness, uh, I want to get to this my wickedness of the week, man. Lord have mercy. And uh, yeah, uh, you already know who it is. Oh man, <laughs> per usual, you already know who it is. God damn it, um, Miss Sexy Red. Miss, Miss, Miss Big Sexy Red, you know, Big Sexy, sexy. Booty Meat, <laughs> let that coochie breathe, you know, y'all know who she is, Big Sexy, um, uh, yeah, for all y'all know, y'all know that she's Sexy Red is, is pregnant, but, uh, no longer is she pregnant, apparently, I already know what's truth, truthful about this, 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 uh, this woman, I've tried so hard to call her a woman and not the B word, if I'm being honest with you, but, no, um, you use bitch freely. Yeah, we can go ahead and use it. Uh, but yes, this woman is uh, no longer pregnant. She had a baby, and uh, she wasted no time hitting the streets. Um, Brian, you got um, you got this photo. Yeah, man, that's her on the bed. She popped that baby out of. I'm... And then you're stretching it. I know that hurts. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I got to be painful. I know that hurts. I know the stitches are are in that motherfucker stretchy. Come on, bro. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, and I and I appreciate the so the lady. Oh, you can scroll through it, Brian. So you can go to her photos too. Yup, look at that. Look at that. What the what hell? What the hell is wrong what the hell? with you? What the hell? Bitch, your edges are <laughs> done in the hospital for no, what? Brian's killing. He's oh my goodness. This is this is crazy. They gonna put an emoji. This is crazy, y'all. This is degeneracy. This is who. Ah. This is who y'all y'all mothers yo know, y'all friends is just okay with the with their daughters dressing up as I listening to their music. Hurts. I like this one. Hey, All everything this right here. about her. Yeah, no, this yes. is why this is why I'm actually appreciated because it's not. I, I'm starting to gain a little bit more faith in humanity because you know, like I, I've I saw it way long ago. A lot of us saw it way long ago that this is just too much, and now it's taking it to do this new heights. Because like I said, there's been people like before has been doing crazy shit, Nicki Minaj, Lil Kim, etc. Hmm. This is just a new level of horse. That we just don't need clone. to be going through. This is just too much. And uh, I appreciate y'all, you know, a lot of y'all in the comments talking about this ain't okay. It's not okay. See y'all making the TikToks. This is not okay. It's just, it's just, it's too much. It's I embarrassing. Ain't, I ain't seen that she look like um, Young Thug in the comments yet. Um, You know, I don't think she, she's Young Thug adjacent. She looked like that nigga. Um, Christ. But this just, I don't know. I I, I, I I don't know. I don't know my brothers and I want to know why she's sitting like that. Look, Baby, the stitches gotta heal before you do all that. I know I wasn't the only person thinking about that. It just makes me think like, when I she... thought somebody say that it was just her water that broke though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, is it like, wait, oh, so she didn't have the baby yet? It doesn't. It doesn't. I don't think so. Well, it, it, even if she did have the baby, that's crazy. I think that's just as crazy. Well, no, don't daughter. get it twisted. It does not absolve what the yeah, fuck she did. Yeah, I think that's just as crazy. Yeah, you got the ridiculous. baby in there. Like the baby about to come out. You over there spreading the lips for that mother. And how do you think the hospital feels? Because somebody had to take that motherfucker. Uh, the nurse and the motherfucker uh, like, can I start my procedure, please? <laughs> 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 I 
That's wild, man. It's ah. Yeah, that baby is going to be raised by a degenerate. Uh, like, shit wicked. The shit wicked, y'all. Baby but daddy uh, with, in jail. This, with this, oh, y'all. Yeah. Oh, man. With, with, with this, I got a question for y'all, man. I'll smell tomatoes on y'all black asses, man. Oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, Go ahead, Mercy. y'all, for, for, for a million dollars, you get a million dollars, you know, you get a kickstart all your, your businesses, whatever your aspirations are, you get a million dollars mm-hmm. after taxes. Million dollars after taxes, man. Sex Red got to be your baby mama, though. I refuse. Nope. I refuse. <laughs> Hell no. I can't have that on my name. Hell motherfucking no. Nah. That's bad for business. That's awful for business. If I go work out this deal with Google or some shit, and then I go home, <laughs> this motherfucker don't post it on Instagram, her ass cheeks and shit. Now a Google director coming at me like, yo, this your girl? This your baby mama? Yeah, we can't associate with you. She can't let her coochie breathe. She's had the baby. She can't let the coochie breathe. She can let that motherfucker breathe elsewhere. Don't breathe around me. Okay. I don't want none of that. If that's, if that's I usually don't say no, but that one mama, would fuck my million dollars up. She would destroy my million dollars. If, if, if I were to take that deal, she got to live in a separate house. She can't have my last name, and we can't be seen in public together. You know, I'm trying to think. Maybe I can prove that she's unfit to raise a child, and I can get custody, and I would get child support. You're that's, an evil bastard. No, he's not. <laughs> oh, I like it though. You're that's evil. not evil. That's, no, that, that's using his brain. Yeah. That's, a, that's an evil thought about, to do to somebody. To but like, that's using his damn brain. Yeah, I, like it. Gonna, I like it though. I wish I would have thought of that shit. If you, if you like I'm that, taking a deal. I'm taking a deal. You a real one? You Mail me. me. Okay. Mail me. You know what I gotta do? I gotta make. I gotta make it more complicated. So you get ten million dollars. Ten million dollars, mate. Sexy red got to be your baby mama, and you can't have that kid. She went in in court. She went in the court for somehow, some way. For the 10, though. She went in. 10 million. For the Plea 10. deal. I'm running butt naked in that forest as a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I respect the vision. Right. 10 million. He not letting that shit go either. I respect that. Right. He said he's stuck. He's sticking on it. He's sticking on it. Yeah. The click, the click like, what's the flea deal? What's the flea deal? Bro. Refer. Refer to later. Early Man, on. I'm doing it. I could be an anonymous investor. Anonymous investor is mm. wild. All right. Bar. 10 milli, though. It's just like, I just it's know. Yeah. I just I know with the million. if she's my baby mama, because I'm more than likely going to be paying child support, correct? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah so that means she baby, eating yeah, at she that 10 milli one. off rip. Then on top of that, my value... My, I can't do nothing. What the fuck can I do? Can I get her I publicly chastised, Brandy? Ten million, bro. publicly chastised. Oh, am yeah. I, am if I they figured out that you chastised? have that, free game. Yo, shit will oh, yeah. raise oh, exponentially. Yeah. It will raise. I know how I'm gonna do this. I know how I'm gonna do this. All right, I'm gonna get her canceled, so people won't even worry about her. Anymore. How can she get canceled? Look what she's been doing. I, yeah, I don't know if that's possible. But forgive me, my brothers. I'm gonna be like, look, babe, we gotta go out in a hijab all the time. You can do your things you do in a hijab. If people see her publicly do that, oh, it's over for her. That is not a bad idea. God damn, we got a lot of balls bombs today. God damn. <laughs> it's evil as hell, diabolical, but man, that's not a bad idea at all. At all. You know how many niggas don't want to stone her? Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. Stop. <laughs> I mean, not, I mean, stone, like, though. Metaphorical. metaphorical. Yeah, metaphorical. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this ain't fucking 1840. He's fucking doing this. Exactly. Why do you think he was talking okay, literally? I, I was at he, first, but what the hell? Uh, well, right. Okay. Okay. Right. My bad. Right. My bad. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you can move on. That's the wickedness of the week, man. Shit, wicked out here. DJ, man, what's going on? What's... All right. In honor of Black History Month, the New York Times just put out a little article saying that Travis Kelsey is the spokesperson for the fade haircut. What the hell? Yeah. What the hell, indeed. <laughs> You know that fade we've been getting since we were like goddamn six? Yeah. They talking about that's the Travis Kelsey haircut. Okay, okay. That's so what New York Times put in the article. Let me remind y'all. <laughs> let me remind y'all. These are... On the first day of Black History Month, <laughs> goddammit. These are usually the <laughs> they know, same they know people facts. who 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 go video game design and give niggas the, the uh, the what's it called? That, uh, that the haircut, Killmonger. That Killmonger dreads. That's the same, those are the same niggas that think that's just the, the, Come the, over the, dreads. the golden hair style for black people. Those mm. are the same people that are saying this, mind you. So oh, you go I don't to, understand you, you see cornrows in the game, you just say, pull back dreadlocks. That's what they say. Everything dreadlocks. Everything <laughs> right. dreadlocks. 
Facts. Ain't no such thing as no braids. That's facts. You got, you got box braids? Oh, dreadlocks. dreadlocks. <laughs> Long like these dreadlocks. are the same people. Long dreadlocks. These are the same people. And hey, don't get it twisted. I ain't got no beef with Travis Kelsey. I think he's a great guy. Yeah, great I mean, ball player. Best, but yeah. And I, shit, I know for a fact he ain't the one telling people to say that. He oh, ain't yeah. the one saying, I, I own the fade. He ain't the one saying Taylor that. But I'm just like, shit. huh? Taylor got him that shit. No, Travis Kelsey always had a fade. That. But I'm saying, no, she got him that that. That yep, that's the haircut. See, that's the haircut I'm talking yep. about. This is a fucking abomination. <laughs> I don't really like this shit. I've only seen lie. niggas with this that haircut is very twice in video ever games. in my life. That is very I haven't seen that in real life. No, I've only facts. seen that twice ever in my life. That's fact. Even then, I was grilling them niggas. And notice how they're all t- they're all like video game characters. I think they're even on the bottom middle is a TV character or like a video game character or some shit. Yes. Why? I don't know. Why? Man. I guess to make it a little more accept- like dreadlocks, but like they're more acceptable. It, digestible, <laughs> I guess. I think regular dreadlocks are easily digestible. Yeah, as well. Yeah, to us. Yeah, for to us. To us. Man, they, guess, used to, yeah. they used to tell you to cut your hair off, man. That's mm-hmm. fair. If you're trying to you get a job, job, if you want to graduate. Shit, mm-hmm. do we have yeah. niggas with dreadlocks? Hmm? Oh, yeah. But they, 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 they My man bogus. Alex. They be bogus, huh. though. He was like that. But yeah, man, that's ridiculous. Um, Man, wow. Yeah. yeah that's ridiculous as hell. Uh, we, we, we can move on, though. I, I, I'm interested in this topic. You got some eyes. About Trey Songz and Jacquees. Oh, <laughs> so story goes that Trey Songz and Jacquees were seen in Dubai, and they got into a pretty nasty altercation that left Jacquees without a couple dreads. Jesus. Oh yeah, I did hear he was on dread patrol or something. Yep. Jesus. <laughs> and and That's the thing. Jacquees said that this man is no longer no longer allowed to come to the south. To the south, Trey Songs. Yes, he said he's no longer allowed Where to come Trey to the Songs south. from to the south, the whole yeah. south. Atlanta, all cut, of that. He said he can't come to the south. This man who cut this man off from a fourth. Who the hell, hell Jacquees? Right. He not nobody. Exactly. But who neither of them about? are. Yeah. Both of them are faded out. Got out of the goddamn music world. Who the hell? I mean, probably some. What the fuck could song. they be arguing about? Was my question? It's really who, my question. It can't be about money. Well, whose voice is worse? Who get the most bitches? Who? Who can really be the next R. Kelly? Like, I heard both of them are really weird, though. They are. I heard both of them are really weird. Very. I don't know nothing about I know I Selena heard Trey Powell Songz said do that, some uh, shit. That, that, that Trey pissed on him. Gave him a, yeah, he pissed. He, oh, he gave Pete. him go, go, go to shower. That makes sense. Oh, man. That's, I told that's, you, this celebrity shit. That's celebrity shit. But what, what she probably asked that what's enticing about... I don't know, man. I just, I'm not peeing, but, you know. I would. You wouldn't? If I'm hydrated? Wait, you wouldn't? I'm not peeing. Oh, she not asked. Your, not your girl. If she asks, <laughs> <laughs> like random bop, like a random bop, random well, bop. Pee on her? Yeah. yeah, if it is requested, I will gladly Random oblige. bop, ask you to pee on her. Jesus, <laughs> I'm trying to do that. <laughs> What's wrong with that, man? Nah. If she, I'm a pleaser, goddammit. She say, DJ, I want you to piss on me. She, if I'm, if I'm hydrated <laughs> up, I'll do it. All now, right, DJ. This is man. not where we expected to go. Hold, on, about- hold on now, DJ. You got to remember, if she's asking you to do it. How many other niggas been pissed on that woman? What that mean? Well, and you're still going to interact with that? I prefer to do that after I'm done. Body. She okay. That's, before, the, that's the finishing before, touch, goddamn it. But even before Come you on. take a leak on that woman, she's already been pissed on multiple times. Well, you make it sound like she ain't showered out of this shit. I, I don't just, care. I so why the baby when you shit on, on yourself? You, you still got on. shit on your back, huh? Once you appeal. Okay, on. niggas. Damn, I don't think this where this convo is supposed to go. Yeah, God it, damn It did get pretty But crazy. That was the, that's the logic He's using though I, I, bro. I just wanted to bring up The fact that Trey Song was That nigga can't sing no more I don't know if he ever could uh, Nah you stop that nah, Trey Song can definitely sing Trey Song can definitely sing You heard Trey Song uh, Do his shit with um, What's his name Not recently I'm talking about back then Okay back then I'm talking about right now I couldn't tell you I don't know I don't. What's the name of that one rapper Uh, Shit I don't know He had did like This one rapper Had did like a little remix To uh, You Broke My Heart the Drake song. Oh yeah, I and know uh, name. and uh, yeah, Jacquees went on there, sounded ridiculous. <laughs> like good I'm, or no, bad? bad. I might as well hopped on the track. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> 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 it was the same point would have got across. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> the same point would have got across. I was looking up, no. I was, bro. I went up there. I replied to him too. Some nigga replied to him about some. Oh, so you say you could do better? No, that's why I'm staying. Off the mic. You know, <laughs> like, I think you do as well. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm aware that I can't sing. Niggas don't know. I feel like oh, they both faded for the same reason, though. It's like they had such like... Overly sexual. There were yeah. better alternatives. Oh. Who the fuck want to listen to Trey Songz when Chris Brown exists? I'm not even the biggest Chris Brown fan no more. Can you help but wait? 
That's on guard, man. Nah, he has that, but that's that, like you said back then, though. But I gotta go. Even back right then, now. nah, you crazy. Uh, no, nah, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. Back then, There's he was definitely nice. better. There's you definitely still had Chris Brown and Usher yeah, doing their thing. Why do I want to listen to fucking okay, Trey Songz and Jacque? I'll right. give them. They had. A, they, I'll give them this. They they've carved out themselves nice career. They got their money. Shout out to them. But you gotta think about it, though. So Trey Songz and Jacque, their music is not for us. Facts. Sure. Have you ever heard of uh, uh, Trey Songz old music? Yes. Oh that no, I mean like before he was R and B, R and B singing for the ladies. You seen his music? Oh no. Oh that nigga was talking about slanging Kang and all types of shit. Jesus Christ. Niggas don't know Trey Songz was like that before. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he said, okay. Okay. I mean, I can believe that some singers be hard. Yeah. So I'm not surprised with <clears throat> that nigga Jack Queen said. Yeah. So it makes sense that we don't really <laughs> fuck with it like that. Like, I mean, it wasn't for us. I mean, I'm not even talking about the content of the song. It's really just a singing ability. I mean, yeah, but like that makes sense that we don't like it though, because it's not for us. You can acknowledge because I don't think they're great singers. Well, no, nah, I take that back. I think both of them can sing. It just there's too much auto tune involved. Yeah, well, I think and it kind of Chris Brown, me off. Chris Brown, motherfucking, he can sing, but I think he uses too much auto tune. Mm-hmm. That man can yeah, sing. Song, there's songs where he yeah, he goes a little overboard with it, it's but like all his songs, I'm taking Chris Brown much. over a lot every day. Yeah, Thanks. a lot of singing artists though. Yes. Mm. Ooh, I don't know. Him and him and Usher can go neck to neck. I, ain't like I didn't say Usher. I just said a lot. Neck to neck. No, Usher got it. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. Mm. Well, in terms of just straight up singing, mm. yeah, I don't think he got I it. I don't know. I don't think know. back then he had it. I don't know. I thought they. I thought like they about the same level as a singer. Mm. I don't know. I don't know either way. Yeah, um, it don't matter that much. But yeah, I mean, they both. Uh, they both irrelevant. So yeah, the fact that they yeah. fighting is just makes sense. Yeah. Pretty soon, what's that other nigga name? Don't YK, matter. YK there it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, he's really gone. Oh, uh, yeah. But anyways, uh, y'all, hope y'all enjoy. Hope y'all appreciate it. Had fun mm-hmm. this episode. Shout out to the people that slid up in here. Uh, who's who's that in here? RP's, AP's Gaming. Shout out to you, dog. Shout out to you, dog. Mm-hmm. And uh, y'all, y'all getting that Patreon. $3. Spare change, you feel me? No Guess what? Best belief. We got 15 moments coming up. Slide.